All right, hello, 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 everybody, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. We decided to go earlier uh, because we will have a new episode after this one in the other account, which is a Christian Prince account. So, if you don't mind, after we finish this one, uh, I have a link for you down in the uh, comment section, section, and you can click at it. And then, after we finish here, we will go to that uh, live broadcast. It's going to be remember in different. Uh, account not in the Arabian profit and this is the link for the other broadcast so after we finish in this one please we go there and feel free to join us today our topic is very simple uh, about talking animals talking animals uh, there is a story in the Bible in the book of numbers about supposedly a donkey speaking this is in the Bible, this is not in the book of Muslims. But if you go in the Bible, in the book of Numbers, chapter 22, and you read in verse 27, 27 28, 29, you will see that the donkey there is not a talking donkey. It's God who opened the mouth, which means God is using that donkey. Not donkey is talking. Donkeys don't talk to a human. And a human don't understand donkeys so muhammad obviously he was under the influence of stories he heard from the jews and muhammad always he liked to 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 come with his own stories muhammad he like a story he make a story he come with a new story so later we find we find that muhammad he come with a story that he capture uh, he killed a jew he took his sandals and he took his donkey, and his donkey is name. His name is Yafur. And I don't know how many of you saw the the uh, the cartoon I made myself about Yafur. Yafur simply is a nice donkey, who Allah created him. Uh, he created sixty donkeys of his kind, and this donkey Yafur is the last donkey. For the lost prophet, which makes sense because there are 60 donkeys only made for prophets. 60 donkeys for 60 prophets makes sense. I mean, think about it. It's, uh, you know, God, He made it uh, supposedly 60 donkeys for 60 prophets, and Muhammad is the last prophet, so this is the last donkey. The story is uh, over. So, uh, Muhammad, He liked the story. He liked the story that the donkey, the donkey, so we let us make a story about donkey. Muhammad, He cannot accept that. There's a story about a donkey uh, for the Jews. He have to come with one. Uh, let me see if I can find the video. This is the do the the story of the Prophet Muhammad with his donkey. May Allah bless his donkey. And obviously, Muhammad always is inspired by other religions, and he fabricates stories to make himself, you know, not only you have a story like this, I have a story. But the story in the Bible is not about donkeys talking. It's God opened the mouth of that donkey. As you see, let me show you on the screen. And Hashem opened the mouth of the donkey. It's not the donkey who talk. Donkeys don't talk. And we don't talk to donkeys. So Muhammad, he liked the stories, as usual. And Muhammad, he he, he, he have to be uh, uh, like his. I mean, why the Jews, they have a story like this? So I am going to come with a story. And my story is always better than your story. And this is how the story began. That it true. Attack of Khyber, year 629 AD. 
Ibn Kathir book of Al Bidaya and Nihaya, volume 6, page 167, the beginning and the end. When the Prophet attacked a Jewish tribe of Khyber, he got four shares of shoes, four sandals, ten ounces of gold and silver, and a black donkey. I get these sandals because I am the prophet. I kill the joke. I got the sword. I kill the joke. And we got the sword. I kill the Joe and got the Joe and a strong donkey. <laughs> 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 Assalamu alaikum, donkey. <laughs> Shalom to you, prophet. What's your name, eh? My name is Yazid, son of Shilab, and Allah produced from the seed of my grandfather 60 donkeys, all of them. No one rolled except prophets of Allah, and there is nothing left of those donkeys except for me. I am the last one, and no prophet left but you. I was expecting you to ride me. I was owned before to a Jewish guy, and I used to make him fall down on purpose, and he used to make my belly suffer from hunger. I will call you Yafor. Hey, Yafor. <laughs> yes, sir. I am here for you. Do you desire the end? <laughs> no, I do not like females. Do not take this donkey wrong. For sure, he is not from San Francisco. When Muhammad gets off his donkey to visit someone, the donkey will open the door with his head and tell the people that the Prophet is outside and wanted to talk to them. When the prophet died, the donkey went to a well and killed himself. Oh, how can I live? The prophet passed away, and he was the only one who asked me if I desired female donkeys. He is the only one who cared for my sexual life, and now he is dead. I can't live without the prophet no more. He touched my heart. I will not live without him. I advise all donkeys in the world to convert to Islam and vote for Muhammad. I am going to suicide myself. All right. So the video is very simple. This is a story from Ibn Kathir. I saw in the beginning the reference. This is not my story. This is coming from Islamic books. We have nothing from our own. If you if you start from the beginning after I say not a true. Not a true. Attack of Khyber, year 629 A.D. Ibn Kathir book of Al-Bidaya and Nihaya, volume 6, page 167.
as you see this is not my book I have nothing to do with the story so Muhammad he claimed that he captured a Jewish uh, uh, he killed a Jew and he killed his he took his donkey and his donkey is made by Allah uh, for special donkeys it's not like normal donkeys Allah he made 60 donkeys and this is the last donkey of those 60 and he is the last donkey for the last prophet and then the prophet he asked the donkey if you like females but the story is not going to be over here Muhammad he keep talking about animals talking if you go in Sahih uh, Muslim as an example we will find Muhammad reporting stories not only happen to the Prophet happen to normal people as an example Muhammad is speaking Muhammad reporting this story a person has a driving driven an ox a cow male ox male cow loaded with luggages the ox looked toward him and said to, to the, toward who the person I have not created been created for this but for lands ie for blogging the land and for drawing uh, out the water from the well uh, for the purpose of irrigation the land the, the, this is how the what the what the cow created for okay so this cow this cow complain about this person the person is using it to carry stuff in the top of it like a donkey so the cow is saying you are using it for the wrong purpose my buddy me you can dig the ground with me to put uh, to make your farm or I can go around the wheel to the to get the water for you the people which mean the Muslims around Muhammad they said with surprise Wow praise be to Allah does the ox speak does the cow speak Allah messenger said I believe it and Abu Bakr he said I do too <laughs> And Umar and Abu Huraira reported that Allah Messenger said, Muhammad, he continues story about animals talking. A shepherd was train, uh, uh, tendering the, fo uh, the flock when uh, the, a wolf came there and took away one goat. So a shepherd, he was taking care of his uh, animals and the wolf came and he stole, you know, this is what the wolves do. They want to eat, right? So he, he took a goat. The, sh the, uh, the shepherd chased him, he pursued this wolf, and he rescued the, the goat. And then the wolf looked at the shepherd and said to him, who's talking now? The wolf. Who would save it on the day when there is will be no shepherd except me? Thereupon, people said, praise be to Allah. And Muhammad, he said, I believe it. And Abu Bakr and Omar said, we believe it too. So as you see, Muhammad, he keep talking about animals speaking. Now we can show tons of reference. Muhammad, the lizard spoke to him. The lizard spoke to Muhammad and he converted to Islam. The lizard, he spoke to him when he was dead, not alive. You know, like this is the, like a desert lizard. It's a big one. So the guy, a Bedouin, he came and he said to Muhammad, uh, 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 you know Muhammad he said to him why you don't convert to Islam uh, so the Bedouin guy he said to Muhammad if this dead lizard convert to Islam I will convert to Islam so Muhammad he asked the lizard do you accept to convert to Islam lizard but the lizard is dead the lizard is dead and the lizard opened his mouth and he spoke and he says I bear witness that there's no God but Allah and there's no prophet but you <laughs> all right let me see if I can find you the hadith in our in uh, in English uh, give me a second as long as we mention it let us see Mm. Look like it's not going to be easy. Okay, let's see. I, I, you know, I can find the hate in a second in Arabic, but this is always the problem. You need to find it in English because you guys don't speak Arabic anyway. Mm 
Uh, yeah, look like it's not easy to find. But anyway, uh, let me find it in Arabic as long as I can't find it in English, so people will not say I'm making things up. But it should be actually, it should be exist in English translation. But for some reasons, I cannot find it. Now, okay, I, I found it in Arabic. Here we go. So here you will see that uh, uh, a Bedouin he came uh, and he spoke to Muhammad uh, as I told you, and then uh, the Bedouin he said, "In amana bika hada dab amantu bika." He said to him, uh, "He said first, I swear by Allah and Al Uzza, I will never believe in you. All right, unless this lizard he believe in you." And then he took a lizard from uh, like from his luggage like a dead lizard and he put it between the hands of the prophet and then the prophet he says to the lizard hey lizard and then the lizard answer speaking pure Arabic not like you know he's not speaking like a, no no he he speak as an Arab born Arab person everybody who was there witnessed that he can understand it and he says Labbaika wa Sa'daik he says please order me uh, oh, oh messenger of, of the whole world <laughs> and then the messenger said to the lizard you worship who the lizard he says the one who is in the sky above the throne and his authority is down in the ground and in the sea is his way and in his in, in the heaven is his mercy and in in the in the uh, fire is his uh, 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 penalty. Look, the this uh, lizard is wise. I mean, look at those words. And then, then Muhammad he said to the lizard, "And who am I, O lizard?" The lizard answered, "You are the messenger of the Lord of the world, and the last prophet, the seed of the prophet, and the one who uh, guy like he uh, took your side or be, uh, you know be, believe in you. He is." Uh, 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 he made the right decision and the one who will will fail is the one who accuse you of being a liar and then the Arabian after he said that the Bedouin he says uh, Shahada I said I say that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad supposedly is his fabricator so here you see Muhammad claiming even that uh, uh, animals are Muslims now if you remember there is a hadith about monkeys who they are Muslims uh, this one we can find it in English for sure because we used it before in this website. Monkeys are Muslims too. During the pre Islamic uh, period of ignorance, I saw a she monkey surrendered by a number of monkeys. They were stoning it because she had committed illegal sexual intercourse, and I stoned it along with them. So, those are very Sunni, these monkeys, they are Sunni. And they are practicing the law of Allah for they are believers in Allah and uh, this uh, monkey obviously she's a filthy woman I mean I mean she feels a filthy female I mean how how in the world you cheat your beautiful uh, gorilla husband I mean what's wrong with you I mean those some sometime I mean I feel like this I mean th this is why I'm still single imagine you go and you date a monkey and then after that you know uh, uh, another, another monkey appear in the you know and the, what your beautiful female wife monkey and you know she is dating a new chimpanzee uh, so uh, actually if you have my book six and Allah you will you will see the story with details you cannot find the whole story in this website here they're just giving you a summary the story is simple purposely that it says that this guy uh, sorry this monkey the husband uh, I found the picture of this monkey This is the woman. You know, she like a lot to look at the mirror, and I mean, obviously she is very impressed with her beauty. And I think now she is doing like some taking hair from her face or something. You know, the same makeup, and you know, female monkey. What you can say? So, uh, according to the story, that this monkey, her husband was sleeping in her arm, and then a young monkey. Uh, you know like which mean like a handsome one 
he come from behind the tree and he like you know and like you know like you know i mean uh, come on you know exactly what's the story so she took her hand slowly from underneath of her husband monkey and she went and she did the boo 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 uh, boom boom with the other uh, abdul other abdul monkey and then she came back and she put her hand after she finished her job with the cheating her beautiful chimpanzee husband i mean how in the world you t i mean what's wrong with you how you how you leave this husband so the husband when he she came back he smelled in her between her legs and he smelled like sperm so like he opened his mouth like this like what you are cheating on me he, like, what so he went crazy and he starts screaming he starts screaming all the monkeys in the tribe they came and they surrender uh, they capture the, the 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 cheater he ran away the story that's why it says that they stone her alone because the the abdul monkey he ran away and by the way this is a true story i was there too so the abdul monkey he ran away and the poor uh, female monkey she was stoned to death for her crime and this is a true story uh now if you remember in the quran we have other stories too about animals talking if you remember uh, suleiman uh, he have an army of birds not only uh, not only genie and the human Allah he taught Suleiman the language of the birds if you remember and And this is, by the way, uh, true. In chapter 27, verse number uh, 16, it says that Allah, he taught Sulaiman uh, the language of the birds, as you see in the front of you. All right? So even the Quran confirmed that Allah, he taught Sulaiman the language of birds, which means he can speak to birds. And by the way, I do too. It looked like Allah, he taught me. Yeah. So now I was saying to I saw a female bird outside. I was saying to her, I'm single, and look like she is interested. So she will leave me her phone number in the side of my window. So here you see that the Quran confirmed those stories, and not only that, Suleiman he have an army of birds, as you see, and they were gathered together into Suleiman, and armies of jinn and mankind and birds. You see it. And in order to uh, to have an army of birds, like I mean, you have to have a general chicken, you know, rooster, a general duck. I mean, for every kind of birds, you have to have a leader, and the, you are the king. You give orders to them. Otherwise, what the point of the army of uh, chickens if they cannot understand you, all right? And you can order them. So this is the Quran, and you know you can find uh, more stories of those things uh, in the Quran. Uh, I find it astonishing that Muslims they make fun of the Bible but they do not know what is written in their books if you go and look how many Muslims he made fun about the, the verse in the book of number where it says that God he opened the mouth of the donkey it's not the donkey is talking it's not the donkey he can talk to a human no he cannot it says God he opened the mouth of that animal which means God he used that anymore but yet you do not know what is written in their books and in the story and later we find that uh, Suleiman uh, you know he have a bird his name is al Hudhud, which is a kind of bird uh, who was sent or he, he he left by himself in a mission without the permission of Suleiman and then Suleiman he checked the birds and he said to the other birds if this bird did not come back with an excuse for sure I'm going to slaughter him I'm going to take off his uh, feather one by one and I will execute him and then he came back and he says to him I came from the Queen of Sheba and I brought for you etc great news and then he told him that the women there she have uh, uh, I found your women she have no hair in her legs 
and then the story if you read the interpretation shaitan or she, she, Satan's they made hair in her legs made her look like a hair uh, uh, you know her legs like a legs of a goat all those are stories in the Quran and it's tell a Muslim he make a verse or make a fun about a verse in the book of numbers so this is just a short video now I'm going to start a new broadcast after let us say uh, five to ten minutes from now and again this is the link and here there's a video it's called don't miss with Hamdi Hamdi is a guy from Germany he's a Muslim he's an immigrant and he think that he knew and he have knowledge in Islam so we are going to get Hamdi busted remember this video is not going to be Arab in the Arabian Prophet account It's going to be in their another account I have many accounts uh, Christian Prince the link is in the front of you please immediately after we finish from here click at the link or you can go already and wait for me there I will be there in a few minutes from now don't forget please to download our videos after we finish them because they don't stay long and enter we see you again in a few minutes in the other account I say thank you and may the Lord bless you and we start our topic in the new broadcast very soon God bless and see you in a few minutes again Christ is Lord Islam is false take care bye bye The link is in the comment guys the link is in the comment look in the comment down the video if you cannot see it in the chat all right i'm posting it in the chat in the chat and the comment you have a link to down in the comments thank you very much